Well, it took six years to get to this point, this downward spiral of the Obama health care law. We're meeting today with uh, the Secretary of Health and Human Services, Tom Price. We met with Paul Ryan yesterday. The House and Senate are working closely together. We want to repeal the mandates that people have to buy this. We want to repeal the huge tax increase that the Obama health care plan put on people. And we want to replace it with patient-centered care. Do you want the government or do you want families to make the decisions. We want to get decisions out of Washington, back home to the states, and whether that has to do with insurance plans that you can buy so you can buy what works for you and your family at lower prices, whether it has to do with Medicaid, which is a government-run program, but states feel stymied in what they can offer. All of those things are on the table as we try to provide relief to the people who have been suffering under the Obama health care law. Senator Barrasso, though, if you pull the individual mandate that forced people to buy this insurance, if you pull the Obamacare taxes that came along with this, that came with on, on wealthier people, uh, it's going to be much more complicated in, to then turn around and offer health insurance to all the people who have it right now. The president has said that if you have insurance, you're going to continue to get that insurance. How, how do you make that happen? How does the math add up? Well, for the people who have actually been paying more, or even those with the individual mandate, they're not buying. They're rather willing to pay the fine, the fine than be, because the prices are so high. They're saying it's a bad so deal for yeah. them personally. So the individual mandate itself has failed. It hasn't driven people in. It's driven people away. So you need to have a better solution, which is more individual choice, lower the prices so people can actually afford it, because what people are saying is even with the subsidies, it's still not a good deal. That's why we need to repeal the law, provide relief for people. I am committed as a doctor to yes. actually finding long-term solutions for health care, and Obamacare isn't it. Yeah, you, you're a medical doctor, for those who don't know it, and obviously you understand um, how the entire system works. But again, back to the price on how these things work, you're right. Prices were out of control on a lot of these. The price hikes for the insurance has been out of control on a lot of these issues. But if you want to continue to have uh, no issues with people who are over 21 staying on their parents' coverage, if you want to make sure that there are no uh, exceptions that are people who are ruled out for pre-existing con conditions, I mean, it just it, it doesn't add up mathematically to have all of those things and still continue to offer uh, affordable care. Yeah, well, you know, my wife's a breast cancer survivor, so as a doctor as well um, as a husband, I know how important it is for people with pre-existing condition to make sure they can continue mm -hmm. with their uh, insurance. But there are things that we can do to, to lower the cost, and it has to do with all of not just the mandates on people to buy, but the mandates on what they could buy. Sure. So there's these so-called essential health benefits that I think have driven the cost up dramatically. And we need to let states decide what they can sell in their state for the people so people can buy what they want, what they need, what they can afford, not what President Obama said they have to have. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.